Now we are going to talk about sports injuries briefly. First, I'll show you the ligaments on an MRI and then we'll see the clinical test. So what do you want to remember for the sports injuries around the knee? For any ligaments in general, the investigation of choice remains MRI. Whereas if they ask you gold standard, you know, gold standard is something which is diagnostic and therapeutic. That is always going to be arthroscopy. So arthroscopy and MRI. So on MRI, they can ask you to identify these. So look at this. First, look at these two images. These are sagittal MRI. So you can see this black ligament. Ligaments are normally black on MRI, you can see these ligaments crossing, right? So crossing means cruciate. So these are cruciate ligaments. Now how we name them is on the position on the tibia. So if they attach anteriorly on the tibia, this is anterior cruciate ligament. But if they attach posteriorly on the tibia, that is posterior cruciate ligament. All right. So we name them with respect to the tibia is what you will remember here. How to know what is anterior posterior? Patella. So patella is anterior. That's how you know. Now, you can also remember the function with the help of this. So ACL is attaching anteriorly on the tibia. So the main function is that it will prevent the anterior tibial translation, meaning it doesn't allow tibia to fall out anteriorly and PCL fall out posteriorly. ACL is a very, very common injury, far more common than PCL. Okay, so that's first thing. Now, how can I test this? So let's do the tests of ACL and PCL. So look at this here. So this is where the knee is flexed. Now, if the knee is flexed around 20 to 30, some sources say 20, some say 30. So if the flexion is 20 to 30 degree, this is what we call as the Latchman test. This was asked in the last knee, knee 2024 exam. So 20 to 30 degree flexion is Latchman. Same image as this was asked. So this is what you need to remember. But if the knee is straight in 90 degree flexion, that is what we call as anterior drawer test. So essentially what we are doing here, we know that if ACL is injured, the tibia will fall out. So that's what you are doing. What are you doing? You are pulling anteriorly. You are pulling the tibia anteriorly. If it comes, means ACL is injured. If it doesn't, it's not injured, right? So this is what are the two tests for anterior cruciate ligament. Opposite you do, posterior draw test is PCL.